Okay, natural attraction. Now, yesterday, the OHM, I said, is for crawling insects. Mm. OHM, right? Mm. For crawling, which is worm. Mm. This natural attractant is for flying insects. Flying. Now, now, crawling and flying is a cycle of an insect. It, it means that flying insects will lay eggs. And after laying eggs, the eggs will hatch. When the eggs hatch, it becomes crawling. Crawling insects will go to a stage called, they call it the metamorphosis stage. After the metamorphosis stage, they become flying. See? So it means this is the cycle of an insect. Now, in natural farming, we control the crawling and we also control the flying. So if we control these two stages of the insect, eventually the population will reduce. When the population of your insects are reduced, then what will happen? Very simple. If you don't use chemical already in your farm, what happens? What happens? Beneficial insects will come in and propagate and increase. When the beneficial in insects increases in your farm, what happened? Healthy so well. No. They will get they will tackle the bad insects. They will now take care of the bad insects. Because they prey on it. Remember the balance is this one. Not this one. So if your beneficial insects are more than the non-beneficial, they now control your non-beneficial. So if that happens, do you need to use OHM? No. Do you need to do natural attraction? No. Nature takes over already your work. That's why our goal in this system is the long-term goal is that you become the technology that Fukuoka was saying. Do nothing for me. Because the nature takes over your work. So you don't need to do the work of the nature. You just need to plant, harvest, plant, harvest. My question is for that, for that one. Uh, 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 if you put that attractant for insects, uh, we, we need also the good insect. Ah, we'll go to that later on. Uh, okay, now. This natural attractant means to attract. To attract. Mm -hmm. uh, Dani. Okay? Now, how do you attract insects? Two senses of the insects that you want to attract. One is the sense of sight. The other one is the sense of smell. The sense of sight of the insects, uh, the eye of the insects, the, the black eyes are huge. Big size, black eyes. Okay? Uh, Pilipinas, ang tawag natin, kwago. Di ba yung lalaki, uh, yung tao na malaking mata, tawag natin, kwago. Di ba? Kwago? Kwago. Di ba? Ah. Tagalog, kwago. Hmm. No? No. So, that big eyes, 
inside that big black eyes, there are many small eyes. So let's see who went on watching movies during the teaching of the science part of the insects. What do you call those small eyes? Insect. Insect eyes. <laughs> I thought you said Chinese eyes. Chinese eyes. <laughs> what do you call that? Insect eyes. Ah, lahat kayo absent. You are absent in school when the teacher was teaching you Biology. the part of the years. The science. You call that compound eyes. Compound. Marami. Okay? So, even though they have many small eyes, it doesn't mean that their vision is very sharp. No. Opposite. Very blurred. Blurred. Their vision is blurred. That's why they don't use the eyes for direction. They use the antenna. They use the sense of smell for direction. Not the eyes. Okay, so it's blurred. They cannot see the figure, but they can distinguish color. Again, their eyes are blurred. They cannot distinguish the figure. Hindi nila masabdan, mga pogi man di ay direct, saka mga guapa. No? Yung mukha ninyo, malabo sa kanya. Hindi niya makita, mga pogi, mga guapa, mga direct. But they can distinguish color. Clear? Okay. Now, the sense of smell is opposite the sense of sight. If their sense of sight is blurred, their sense of smell is sharp. If there are food far, far away, they can smell it already. Clear? So let's attract the insects first. Let's go first to the sense of smell. So if the sense of smell is very sharp, so you should have something that is very aromatic that will attract the insects. Something aromatic. So this will be our formula. One gallon of vinegar, one fourth kilo of molasses, and eight tablespoons of F. B, J. Let's go first to the vinegar. That is the major ingredient. One gallon. Now, you, we all like to eat uh, paksiu, isn't it? Paksiu is a local delicacy. Gallon is how many liters? Huh? How many liters is one gallon? Okay. One gallon is how many liters? Four. Twenty liters. Twenty liters, okay. Ah, well, ah, sorry, four, four liters. Four oh, liters. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Four liters, so. Okay, uh, uh, we, we, uh, we like to eat uh, uh, paksiu, right? It's a local director, by the way. So when, when you cook the paksiu, <coughs> you need to pour in the vinegar, right? Mm -hmm. When you pour in the vinegar in the cooking, what happened to the whole house? Mm -hmm. Smell the vinegar, right? Mm -hmm. Very strong, am I right? Mm -hmm. That is what they like. You know why? Because the non-beneficial insects like something that is liquor. Oh, they are the singero. Uh, they are drunkards. They like something liquor. Okay? Now, so when you cook it, so we cook the vinegar to release the smell because their sense of smell is very strong to attract them okay okay so we cook the vinegar when the smell comes out then we cut the cooking do not overcook it because if you overcook it the smell will be gone and it's not effective anymore when the smell comes out then you fill the the fire stop the cooking then you let it cool down while you are cooking i forgot while you are cooking please add the one fourth kilo molasses 
So what is the purpose of the molasses? So that the liquor becomes more sweeter. So they, they become more so nice to take in. After the smell? No, 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 no. Yeah. During the cooking. Oh, during the cooking. Okay. At the molasses. Because there it says first, after the smell, take it out, then add molasses. No, no, no. Okay. Cook it together. Okay? Okay. Now, let it cool down. After cooling down, then add, then add a tablespoon of FPJ. Now, the FPJ will be depending, will be depending on where you want to put this attractant. If you want to put this attractant among the fruit trees, then the FPJ should come from the fruit trees. If you want to put this attraction among the vegetables, then the FPJ should be coming from the vegetables. Why? Why? Because the insects that are attacking the fruit trees are different from the insects that attack the vegetables. Again, again, the insects that are attacking the fruit trees are different from the insects that are attacking the vegetables. So if you put in the FPJ according to their smell, then they will be attracted more. Claro ba? Claro ba? Okay. Now, after mixing this... Uh, how much uh, molasses you put? How One fourth kilo. Molasses, sir. One kilo. Okay. Will, will one fourth kilo. That will be around. One gallon. No, the molasses will be how many milliliters or liters? One kilo. A one fourth lamp. A quarter. One fourth kilo is quarter. Quarter. About 250 ml. ml. Gram. No, gram. Uh, milligram. Uh, milligram. Okay. Uh, okay. Eight tablespoon of FPJ. Okay, after mixing everything, what do you do? Here. Uh, like the container. Like this container. Like this container, what do you do with this container? You cut this and open. Then you open it. Then you cut the other side and you open it. So you have already a window. Uh, two windows. Two windows. Sir. Now, what is the purpose of this? So that when, uh, aside from the insect will come in, in that area, when it rains, water will not enter. Clear? Mm. Clear? Clear. Uh, right. Then you put the mixed li liquor you put the mixed liquor here, small amount. Don't, don't put a lot, just a small amount. Clarwa, clear? Just put a small amount of this mix. Don't put a lot. Why? Because this efficacy of this liquor will last for two to three days. So then you add, then you change, add another one. Uh, small amount so that uh, when the insect come in and drink, it will be gone in just two to three days if there are a lot of insects in the farm, mm -hmm. so that you can add new ones. And what happens to the insect? Uh, we'll go to that. Later. Okay. 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 Yes. So then you hang this on the trees. Uh, on the trees for fruit trees uh, from five meters to ten meters apart. Okay. Per container. One tree per con five meters apart. One container. Okay. Uh, if you want to put another one, it's from five meters to ten meters apart. For beds of all, it's just five meters apart. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so when you hang this, what happened? The smell will come out. And when the smell come out, what happened? It will attract the flying insect. They will come in. They will come in and drink. So it's so sweet, so nice, they will drink more. When they drink more, what happens? They become drunk. When they are drunk, they are not Muslim anyway. When they are drunk, they will land on the water. And when their wings are in the water, they cannot fly anymore. And they are, they die in the water. The, the bees will die. Ah, listen. This will only attract the non-beneficial. Beneficial will not be attracted because they are not drunkards. Like the Muslim. Okay? Clear? Okay. Now, but sometimes you can see bees come in. They are the, the backslider. Bees were pulling me. The bad bees. Yeah, backslider bees. Uh, okay. Now, now this one will capture big size insect, not the small size. Big size? Big size. Adult insect. Not the small size. Not worms, flying. Small, uh, small ones. Why? Because minority are not allowed to go inside the beer house. <laughs> Minors are not allowed to go inside the beer house. No, no, no. Minors don't like, don't like liquor. So, How come you have two in the same tree? Then? You have two no, this is two slides. Oh, okay, okay. Two, oh. two slides, yeah. not not same. Clear? Clear. Yeah. So this one will not capture the small one. This one will capture the big size one. Okay? Okay. Small size will not enter. Hmm. No. So how do you capture the small size one? Now this yellow trap will capture the small size one. Okay? This will not be effective for the big size. This will be effective for the small size. Okay. Now this will be now the the attractant here is not the sense of smell, it will be the sense of sight. Uh, a while ago I said their eyes are blurred. They will never understand the figure, but they will distinguish the color. Now uh, listen. Yellow color attracts non-beneficial. Again. Yellow colors attract non-beneficial. That's why during a color is attract attract bad non-beneficial. Non-beneficial. Yellow color attract change. Mao di ayot. Okay, now now listen. I have something to tell you. Important. It's very important. When I was young, the street lights before was colored white which is uh, cool we call it cool cool color the white color mm -hmm. now when i grow up they change it into yellow which is called warm so when you buy lights in the hardware you can say warm or cool okay. now the yellow is warm mm -hmm. the white one is called cool c-o-l-d now, they change it. Why? We don't like yellow because in the street light, when it's yellow, it's not very bright. When it's white, it's very bright, right? Right? Yes. Yes, but it's a... Why? Why did they change it? Because this is an international law. 
all members country had to abide with the international law. They changed from white color to yellow. Why? What's the reason behind this? To protect the bees. Why? Very simple. Remember uh, that porch over there before, uh, uh, there's a light. Am I right? Mm. The porch. Before it's colored white. I've been telling them to change, to change, to change. They take a long time to change. You know, every time uh, at 5.30, 6 o'clock, when they lighted that light, the white one, bees are attracted to it. it this time, 5.30 to 6, it is the time for the bees to go home. But when they saw that big lights, they are attracted to it because they thought it is still daytime. Mm -hmm. Still daytime. So they are attracted to that. So they will stay there the whole night until in the morning you can see dead on the ground. Dead on the ground, the bees. So every day you can see a lot of bees died on the ground. So when they change the yellow color, there's no bees already. I think all the bees died. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's just kidding. There's no bees going there already. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Claro ba? Okay. So this is an international law. So what does it mean? It means in the farm, you have to protect the bees because bees are crucial to your farming. Without bees, you have less fruits. If you want more fruits, you need the bees. So you should not kill them. So it means in your farm, if it's street lights outside of your house, use the colored yellow or warm, not the white one or cool. Inside the house, you use the cool, but outside, you use the yeah. yellow. That's the reason why maraming blue. Kasi kulay white man ang sa sulod. Mo dito, ma'am. Kasi bawang maraming kukan sa aming room, sir. B, blue, blue. Ito ang mga dibindilag. But when you kill the lights, you see the bees will go. Oh, will go out. Ito na kasi sulod mo yung may bangag. So, dili, nai buho sa screen. Dito sa ako kapit yung ibu sa skin may pichukan na ba ito? Okay? Okay. So protect your bees in the farm. Don't kill them. It's important for you. Okay? So we will have a break. Go and get your snacks. Okay, let's continue on. Okay. So guys, do not kill the bees because bees are crucial in your farm. Okay? Now, so yellow trap, yellow color attracts non-beneficial, okay? Now, so we have this yellow trap. Now, you have many plastic that are colored yellow, the sando bag, that are color yellow, so you just uh, cut it into half so that you have bigger uh, areas to, uh, to be attracted. So, just tie it in your vegetable farm or in your fruit farm, no? then put two holes <coughs> so that you have Batman and Robin in the farm. <laughs> now the holes, if, if the purpose of the holes, if there are wind, it will not easily break down, okay? Mm. okay. Now, so, so after this, you brush, use cooking oil. On the surface of the on the plastic, front and back, brush, use cooking oil on the surface. Okay, clear. Mm. Okay. Now, so flying insects, the small ones, so the yellow will be attracted. It will move forward and landed on that plastic. So with that oil, the small insects will stick to the oil. It's like a glue. It will stick to the oil and he will not fly anymore until he died. 
So after this one dry up, you will see a lot of black, 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 black spot on that yellow plastic. These are all dead insects. Clear? <laughs> so anyway, I don't know how you can do it. And the problem is you can use the paper, yeah, yellow yeah. paper, yeah. and brass, brass yeah. uh, the used cooking oil on it. But when it rains, eventually it uh, the paper will be destroyed. But if it doesn't rain, then it's okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you uh, to those who don't, if you have no yellow plastic, what my wife did, use the yellow cartolina, then cover it with a transparent plastic. Ah. So okay. it will be colored yellow. So that transparent plastic, he brush it with. Okay. Mabasak malas siya. Mabasak malas. Cartolina. Pero naka, naka cover siya oh, ng okay, transparent siya. plastic para hindi magbasa. Okay? Check your name, sir. For certificate. Okay, next okay. question. Basura, list basura ng ilang po. Okay, then finally, the last one is called the light trap. Light, ilaw. L-I-G-H-T. Now, there are insects that comes out in the daytime. There are also insects that comes out during the night. So you call that the nocturnal insects. Panggabi. Nocturnal. So it's called nocturnal insects. So. So if you control the insects in the daytime and you did not control the insects in the nighttime, the nighttime insects can also create havoc to your plants. So you need to control them. So this is called the light trap. Ilaw. To attract the insects. Now what color should be the light trap? What color? Warm, not the cool, not the white, but the yellow. Okay, okay. Now, now. So you operate this during night time. So many farmers will tell me, sir, we don't have electricity in our area. So what are you going to do? There are many. Uh, not only solar but battery operated uh, lights that are being sold in the market right now. So you can buy those battery or even rechargeable lights and cover it with yellow plastic. So it becomes yellow, okay? So you operate it during night time. Then below this one, there's a basin. There's a basin that you put water on, so it will have double attraction. Now this is a, a half moon form shape, a GI plane sheets. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So what's the purpose of the sheets, GI plane sheets? To reflect, to reflect lights much farther. Daruma. Mag-reflection ba? Mas malawak ang reflection niya. Okay? So to reflect lights much farther. Okay? So below this is a basin with water. So it will also have the same uh, reflections of the lights. So when the flying insects comes in, they saw the light, they will come here and, and they will go down to this water when the wings landed on the water then they will not be able to fly again until they are dead. Sir, yung plastic na yun, sir, what's the use of that? Anong plastic? Yung yellow. Wala, wala yan. 
Because attraction is the light and the basin with water. Okay? So where is the light? Ten. 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 Okay, now, now, uh, uh, the nocturnal insects had curfew hours. <coughs> they, they will go home around 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock early in the morning. So it means if you had, uh, if you operate this from 6, uh, from 8 to 12, that's good enough. If you operate this from 8 to 12, that's good enough. Hindi mo kailangan ibuk, buntag, ipon mo. Okay? Ay, ilang oras ang pwede? It's up to you. Pwede yung tibuk, buntag, pero you don't need to do that. Any question? No more? No, sir. So that's why the word I... I said is control, not to watch out. Again, the word I said is control, not to watch out. So if you control the insects, you still be there, but their population is just a small amount. So it's not a problem already. It will not create problems to your plants. They will not wipe out their, your plants. This is a big structure and the costs for the so you should. If you feel like uh, some trees are being attacked, that's when you put it right in. It's not going to be something that you put it all around. Just just one for a big, big, big area. Okay. Because okay. the lights during night time okay. will shine. Even it can reach very far. Okay. Any question? Any question? Okay. Now, that's why when you control the insects in your farm already and all beneficial insects start coming in and propagate and increase in number, you don't need to do all these things already. So you stop all of this labor that you're doing because the nature already takes over all your what you're doing to control the balance. See? Clear? So, do nothing farming. That's your goal. And you will hear this to, uh, on Friday when we go to see a farm. You will hear from her that she's not doing anything in the farm already. Just planting and harvesting. That's all. Sir, where's your farm here, uh, sir? I stopped handling a farm because I've been traveling nationwide teaching natural farming. I used to handle farm way back. What I'm teaching you is all my experience, many of my experience. Okay, yesterday you were, uh, you already know how to make the virgin coconut oil, right? Yes. yes. Okay, now what is the purpose of this? Now, this especially in workplace, this is a good source of first aid. Good source of first aid. What first aid is this? For example, somebody got an accident, was was wounded, all blood coming out. Okay? So what do you do? Put oil, virgin oil, press it on the wounds for a few minutes, you see that the blood stop coming up. Maulit ng samad, sir. Dili, maulit. Ulat, ulat, sab. Hindi pa, nagmamadali ka eh. Mahunong muna ang dugo. That the blood will stop coming out. So when the blood stop coming out, clean the whole surface again. Put another new set of oil and just spray it around the wounds. In just few hours, 
the wound will dry up. Ganyan kabilis. Bisan ang kanang ma-burn ang kanang Yes. You got burned? Yes. The portion that was burned pour in the oil. Immediately it will not turn red. It will not come out watery. It's like you were not burned. Gusto mo sampling natin sa inyo? Ay! Gusto ko sa'yo si Roy. Kasakit! Yes, hindi sisas. Pwede rin. Mga boils, mga samad-samad. So, ikuha rin akong tunog ron ako. Bunti. Yan. Sampulan ko na. Sir! Kuha na na, sir. Ang pangutahan na na, sir, kung makaproduce mig ka ng daganana, ang market? Oh, walang problem, market. Kulang na ang market ngayon. Tamo? Export lang eh. Kulang na kulang. Ah. When, I, when, when, when the BCO start coming out in the market in the Philippines, the whole Philippines, uh, grocery, you can see the stock. Right now, you go to groceries, there's no stock. Bitaw. Because export, export is still lacking. Oh, tunggu ingon. Hey, berat tu angkut ras mag BCO mu. Now listen. Okay. Why is it that foreigners are buying BCO? Because they what they found out from the BCO. This is what they found out. It's almost a cure all disease. Cure? Almost a cure all disease. I think your liver that can be helped. Sorry. Yung nag-fatty liver, sir, uy, di ba ani, sir? Yung fatty man. No, 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 no. This is not the... It will not turn into fats. Ah, it will not turn into fats. A very good. Now, now, uh... It can cure cancer. It can cure diabetic. It can cure heart problems. It can cure even Alzheimer, and even it can cure HIV. Oh, HIV. Yung mga kipa-kipa, sir. Ah, that's liver. Asa liver na mag-ibig. Hepa is liver. Oh. So problem. So it's almost a cure all disease. Why? Because there is an ingredient in in which is called lauric acid. Lauric acid is only found in mother's milk. Lauric? Lauric acid is anti-aging. Ah, yung sa mother. Pa, yan. Oh, yan. So, is feeling ka ng lauric acid, sir? L-A-U? L-A-U. R-I-C. Now, now, so it's almost, it's an anti-aging. If you take regularly BCO, all your organs will be younger than your original age. Oh, hindi mag-inom atong hinay mo, sir. Hindi na-inom mo na. Oh, like, hindi na-inom mo. Hindi na-inom mo, sir. Hindi na-inom mo, sir. Hindi na-inom mo, sir. How to take in BCO. This is how you take in. Okay, okay, okay. Proceeds. Do not initially take big volumes. If you take big volumes, you will never go out. Your nearest is your toilet. Ah, kalibanga yun. Kalibanga yun. So don't take big amounts. Just slow. The most is one tablespoon. Now, it's hard to drink oil, right? Right? Oh, yes. How to do it without any problems. This is how you do it. In the morning, you drink coffee, right? When you mix coffee, you let the heat goes down before you put in the BCO. Drink it together with the BCO. Kung sa turmeric, sir, matong itimpla ko yung ipot. Yes, you can also add. One tablespoon? Pwede. It all depends on your capacity. As I've been telling you, initially don't take big amounts because you will have low uh, bowel but, movement. But how much maximum you can have per day? Uh, three. Three tablespoons. Two times, three times a day. Uh, oh, three tablespoons, three times a day? 
Yeah, oh. if you want one tablespoon okay. one day, once a day is okay. okay, depending on your condition. Okay. If you have problems, then you have, you have to increase. More, okay. If just for your uh, maintenance, uh. once, once, one, what, uh, two times better, uh. one in the morning, one in the evening. Okay. Okay. Start. Pwede na siya isagoy sa tubig? Hindi. Hindi ma, hindi ma, ah, ah, ano purpose nung sagol sa tubig? Magandilan na lang po. Painom yung tubig. Ah, ang, you still have that smell kung tubig ra. What you do is this, ah, that's a coffee, no? A while ago. Now, another way of doing it is you are cooking. Ulam. Bayans. Mm. After cooking, you let the heat goes down. Then you spread the oil mm. on your bayans, ulam, ulam, and you eat it with your ulam. Oh, bitaw. Okay, so that okay, you won't okay. smell the, 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 the oil. But if you can take in pure oil, well, no problem. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ah. You cannot use BCO for cooking because if you use it for cooking, it will destroy what is important in BCO. So it you have to take it without heat. That's why I said when you have coffee, let the heat goes down before you put in the BCO. But what we use it. Yeah, you can use it for cooking, but you lost the efficacy of it. The purpose of it. The purpose is for your healing, for your medicine. Are you answered, Doctor? Okay. Okay, like example, sir, you, ano, you drink it directly, then you drink water. No problem. No problem. And and uh, do you know about DTI kung sa packaging ana for market? Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. So, it, uh, like ten coconuts. Oh. How, how many liters can you get? Okay, the target of the ten coconuts is to produce one liter. Ah, ah. Coconuts, one liter. Okay. So the coconuts will be the big size one, mm. not the small size. Small size will reduce the volume. Kamo timbang ng pag any question? Any question? This is the reason why uh, uh, we run out of BCO. And, and the findings, in the, this is from the research in the international, especially in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Because during that time when they are researching this, because they want to know who is, whose cooking oil is better. Because USA is producing corn oil and canola oil. Mm -hmm. So they want to know their competitors. Their competitors are palm oil and, and coconut, coconut, coconut oil. oil. So they try to research on the palm oil and coconut oil. Mm -hmm. So when the research comes out, they release the palm oil. They never release the coconut oil. They keep uh, it. Uh, but you know, secret cannot be kept for a long time. When yes. the when the research came out, it was found out that coconut oil is better than palm oil, corn oil, or their canola oil. Uh, and so their and, oil and their, the BCO, the, the, they, from the research, they said it's almost impure oil. Actually, they say that uh, all vegetable oils, except natural, like uh, uh, olive oil, oil from the from the cow, yes. and coconut oil, all the other vegetable oil, like you know sunflower oil, oil, they are they're all bad. Co 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 corn oil, corn uh, oil, my all of them. GM oil, sir, sir. Hey, corn oil. sunflower oil. Siguro sa plano oil sir, ito yun ang sa plano oil ba? Sir sa research only only use only use coconut, olive, or from the from the cow, butter, 
butter or ghee from the cow? Ah, uh, butter. Yung vegetable, vegetable oil, it's bad. Yes, very bad. Very bad, very bad for your health. Icorn oil, yeah, They just changed the name. They just changed the name so that you will buy. Only, there is only, only natural oil is the, the best. You know, no, I, I use yam po, then after that, I use uh, the oil for po me. Sir, ang lives pa na na, sir, kay kung ma-stack na siya, dugay, sir, medyo na ibaho, sir, di ba, murag na ibaho na, sir? One year. One year. Magamit gihapon to, sir. Okay, gihapon to, maski na na siya ibaho. No expiration, sir? No expiration. Hindi magbaho after one year. Kung magbaho after one year, it means there is a... Contamination. Contamination of that, of that cream. Ah. When you harvest, you have to 100% see to it that the cream is not included. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Cream? Yeah. Okay, so we use BCO for curing e for our everything. sickness. The cream. Yeah. This is the cream. This is the water that you use to, uh, to, to uh -huh. get the milk. Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. So. This is the first day. Second day, you see some oil coming out already on top. Mm -hmm. Then the third day, 100%, the oil is on top already. Mm -hmm. Then you have the cream. Direct sunlight get us, sir? Yes, this will be the cream. Uh -huh. This will be the water. Okay. Uh -huh. The water turned into vinegar. Not yeah. Yeah. The water. Okay, so the, you have a picture for the, when you put it in the fridge? Uh -huh. What happens in the... Okay, so this is the... The oil that's left behind, you put it in ref, in one hour it will solidify. Oh, that's the oil? Uh, in the refrigerator. Okay. The oil, sir. Oil. That's this, the this oil, one, sir. This one, this one. This, one. Yeah. Ah. this is the cream. Ah. This is the one below. Ah. Ah. This is the whole black. Ah. BCO. Ah. Oh. The oil becomes solidified. Uh -huh. So you scrape out some of the cream. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. so you break down again the oil, uh -huh. break it into smaller size and uh -huh. put it in the sun again to liquefy uh -huh. so that it will completely, totally separate the cream from the oil. Uh, okay. So you just harvest what, what you can harvest, but remember do not try to harvest oil uh -huh. because the cream is there. Uh -huh. So the, the one left behind, uh -huh. only small amount. Uh -huh. So you can use it immediately by either for ladies, hot oil treatment for your hair. Hot oil treatment, then shampoo. That's why I put oil. You look, I have a lot of hair. Oh, at my age, supposedly there are hair falling down, a lot of hair is gone already. But look. Sa sige na to gamit ng shampoo ba yah? Jing kay mga upaw na ba yah ang ubon? Ay. May pa yung virgin coconut oil na lang yun. Kaya akong lula sa una, mga katagawangan. Sir, hindi na ba yung iso, sir? Nga, red, aw, black maghapon, ilang buhok, ayo, healthy. Nga, kita ka rin, nagsyampo-syampo, di ba? Pilay edad na to, mga upaw na ito ba? Edad na to. Okay? So, okay. Okay. Kaya naong may mga upaw pa din. Kaya maguhig na lang. Mr. Lim, Yes. The PowerPoint, uh, we will get it, this one? Huh? This PowerPoint. My wife is going to give you, right? Uh, okay. I think they, they gave, she gave you already. Oh, okay. Back the... Uh, I, I saw the folder. I didn't see the PowerPoint, but I'll, I'll uh, see it again. After three to five days, Okay. Three days, but you expose the sun. Ah, direct sunlight. Oh, yeah.
pagkahuman kuha ko ni mo to ibutang sa ref. Dil, kuha ko ni mo. Gantong uwi lagi. Ah. Ay mabilin ko may. Ya, naibutang ni mo dito pag buan. Ano murag lisod na kanduson? Ibalik man to ni mo to mabilin kan apa man to possible nga uwi. Okay. So we we'll start to apply. We already teach you how to make. Okay. I teach you how to apply. Before I teach you how to apply, all the fertilizer that we produce uh, yesterday and today. Uh, let's talk about the soil because that is where you want to plant. So we need to know about the soil. We have to understand about the soil. Okay. Understood? Yes, yes sir. So we will discuss first regarding soil. So soil management. Now I'm going to show you two pictures. I want you to describe these two pictures. The first picture is this one. Describe it. Come on guys. Allow. Yun lang nakita ninyo? My machine! Oo, oh, unsa? My farm tractor? Ang soil niya kay... Puti. Ang soil niya kay... Basa kun. Adi... Removing... Removing floods. So the... The water just... Doesn't absorb the water. Okay, I'll describe it. A tractor plowing the field, uh, plowing a rice field. body field with water, uh, but the tractor did not sink. Uh, Am I right? Uh, yeah. Again, again. The tractor plowing the rice body field with, filled with water, but the tractor did not sink. Right? Right. Okay, yes. second picture. A man walking on the rice field without sinking. <laughs> the man walking on the rice field filled with water, but the bush did not sink. Am I right? Yes. yes. Here in the Philippines, in the rice paddy with water, when you walk on it, what happened? You sink. sink. You sink. Yes. Tama? Tama. The question is, which one is a good quality soil? This one or the one in the Philippines? This one. The one in the Philippines. The one in the Philippines. The in the Philippines. <laughs> Maybe. What about But if you said the one in the Philippines, why is it that we need to put in fertilizer? You need to make it If you said that the good soil is in the Philippines that will sink, why is it that you put fertilizer on it? You said it's good, good soil. Good soil means you don't need fertilizer. But why is it you put a lot of fertilizer on it? Because... But remember you said that's a good soil already. Yes. Hindi na considered na good so well kaya nagkinahangla naman kag fertilizer. Nag-acidic naman siya tungkol sa sinasigit ng gamit. Ang katarungan mo sa farmer, mo abunog yun siya. Tungkol kay mga high, high, uh, mga kaneng hybrid seeds kasagaran ang ginagamit na gitudlo sa mga sa gobyerno. Oh. So, kinahangla kay na na-practice man, nasuayan man yun. Nagkasuayan kita na mo ng mga farmer nga. Bakit ka o mga hybrid seeds na gitudlo sa gobyerno, kung nyadili ka mo up tayong abono, wala ang gilkay maayong kita. So you need to apply a fertilizer to increase your production. So what happened? The farmer is... Always farmer. You determine the yield of your corn because you said it's a hybrid and you put it with commercial fertilizers. So, what's what happened to the production? What's the yield? 
Nag-increase o wala? Increase. No. Oh, pero how about listen, the impulse? Listen, listen. High yield. <laughs> yes. The first night. Mm. Lessons. High yield. Mm. Pero high cost. High, high cost. Yes. 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 And your soil will become acidic. And it's not fertile anymore because... My cost is not healthy. Mm. Yeah. The more you use, the more you are destroying the soil. Oh. Uh, we know that because we... We cannot understand what the effect of fertilizers. Uh, that's why you have to know. Uh, ang ang, ang dinalantaw lang kanuna sa farmer is to high yield. High cost. <laughs> no, what na malaglag to high cost? Bahala na. Kung wala yun, So they're talking about uh, <laughs> that, how, how he turned uh, in farming. Uh, okay. uh, he said he, high yield, he's after high yield. Okay. That is his goal. All right. But because of high cost, he get only few. Uh, okay. So we we'll go to that later on. As he built it in, he earned a little. Now, so it means uh, this soil is better than the one in the Philippines. Why? There are two types of soil. One is called the sandy loam, which you know. One is called the clay loam, which you have. No, my my is sandy loam. Your is sandy loam? Yeah. What kind of area is that? Uh, uh, beside the river. Yes, beside the river. Uh. Ah. Okay. okay. Now, uh, it's very sandy. Yeah, yeah. So you will really have problems so much on uh, on watering. Yes, sir. Very dry. Very dry. If the sun, if the rain comes down, it will immediately. Dry up. Uh, it will not preserve. This one is low. Okay, okay, okay. Now listen. Okay, listen, listen. Now, there is two type of soil: sandy loam, clay loam. Yours is sand. When I said sandy loam, it means these are the compost waste. Ah. So that is the fertilizer. Now, most of the farm in the Philippines don't have that anymore. What they have is clay loam. Clay is very... Uh, I have explained already clay. Yes. Small. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is the condition of, our farm, of the farm in the Philippines. Majority, yes. That is it, clay loam. So you cannot grow anything from a clay loam soil. This is a sandy loam soil, fertile soil. That's why you can grow that even a small amount of fertilizer. You can grow that. And the yield is high. And the yield is high. Now, now, what's the structure of the soil? 
so that you understand. Okay, the structure. This is a perfect living soil, not the one I show you. This is the 100% good quality soil, but you cannot find that already in your farm. You can find that in a 100 years old forest. 100 years old forest. Okay, now what's the content? Earth, 45%, organic matters, 50%, and microorganism, 5%. The key here is the 50% organic matters. So you also need organic matters in the sun yes. to preserve some of the moisture and fertility of the soil. Yes. That's the reason why when it rains, the water just psh, yes. gone. It will not be preserved in the, in the soil. So you need organic matter. Now, if your farm rice farm, when you walk on it up and you sink down, the organic matters is around one maximum, one point blank percent. You fill in the blank. Even if it is less than one, the organic matter. That's why no plants can grow there without fertilizing. Because one Point blank percent organic matter. At least you should have three percent to have a good harvest. A one point blank. How do you expect that you can harvest good crops? It's a dead soil. That's why you have to put in fertilizer. Clear? So the key there is the organic matters. Now, I'm not asking you to reach 50. You, you will never reach 50. Yeah. That's not your goal. Your initial goal is 3%. percent But from 1.0 black percent to go to 3%, it takes you years. Mm. How many years? Depending on how fast you put in the organic matters. If you hold the market waste, and put it in your farm, let it rot there for uh, uh, months, then you will, the, the organic matters will increase tremendously. But you need trucks load of those waste in the palenque. But you don't do that. You do it slowly. So it will take you years. Clear? Now, so, so in natural farming, while you are doing the farming, you are slowly building up the organic matters in the soil. While you are building up the organic matters in the soil, it doesn't mean that you will not earn. Because your plants will have the nutrients that they need through the what? Foliar. Foliar. That I teach you. Clear? Yes. Okay. I, I forgot to teach you the Jidam. Sorry, sorry. I'll stop first. We'll go to Jidam first. So how do you make IMO on Jidam? Yeah, I am O2. I am O2. How do the Jedam make I am O2? This is how it makes. Write down. They call it the Jedam microbial solution. Or they call it JMS. Jedam microbial solution. Or JMS. The ingredients that you need here is microbial microbial solution JMS. Okay. The ingredients that you need to make JMS is 
starts. Starts. We'll go that later. Starts. Lip molds. Salt or seawater. Again, starts. Leaf molds. Leaf. L E A F. Molds. M O L D. Leaf molds. Salt or sea water. No molasses. Cheaper, right? Mm. <coughs> Am it, I right? Cheaper? Yes. It was similar to IMO. Huh? Is it was the same? I will go to that later. Starts right? lang ang mahalat. Okay. Starts. What start do you have in, in your area? Tick-tick. Potato. Corn start. Corn. Corn start. You have to buy that. Uh, no, yung... yung tick-tick lagi like start. Ah, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, so rice, sweet potato, <coughs> gabi, uh, balanghoy. Uh, oh, these are starts, right? Mm. So any of that, even rice bran. You can use rice bran here. Yes, you, have, you just need to cook them. You have to cook them until they become very, very soft. You have to cook them until they become very, very soft. Patatas. Yes. Now, lip molds. What is lip molds? Very simple. A pile of leaves. Leaves, you pile it up. These are fallen leaves that are dried already. So you pile in a leaf molds in the ground. Let it decompose. Once there are decomposed part already, so you have leaf, decomposed leaf, soil. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Now this portion, the composed leaves, they are soil also, right? Uh -huh. mm. When they decompose, they become soil. soil. Okay. So this is called the leaf, leaf mold. Okay. Not the leaf itself. Clear? Clear. You not decompose na dahon. That is what you call leaf molds. When there is leaf molds, there is what? There's what? Microorganism. Clear? Clear. Okay, like in a bamboo tree, you have a lot of leaves that have fallen down, and these leaves decompose. You have a lot of leaf molds in bamboo. bamboo. Yes. Claro ba? Claro. In the forest, you have a lot of leaf molds. Those decomposed leaves, they become leaf molds. So you can get those things. They become your leaf molds. Okay? Now, so, as in, no need to tell you what is that. You know it. Okay? So how do you do it? Very simple. For one drum, if you do one drum, one drum, uh, one drum is 200 liters. Am I right? Yes. One drum? Mm, 200 liters. 200 liters. Okay. Now, for one drum, you need uh, uh, one half kilo starts. One half kilo. H half a kilo or one and a half? Half kilo. Half kilo. Sorry. One half. One half. One half. 
types. Uh, then uh, two kilos leaf molds or one kilo leaf mold, sorry. One then kilo. then one four kilo salt. So that is what, for a drum. So, as in. So, but if you use seawater, you need 3 liters. Uh, if you use seawater, you need 3 liters. Now, what you do with the drum, do not try to fill it up to 100 li uh, 200 liters. Uh, have a space. Then, put a stick in the middle in the middle of the top of the drum. Okay? Again, sir, again. Put a stick. At the top, at the top. <coughs> On the middle of the drum. Oh, at the middle. <coughs> For example, this is the drum. Yeah. You put a stick here. Only one? Yeah. Just one? Very good. Okay? Now, then you get uh, sacks. 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 Men sacks. Sack. Okay. Medias. Medias? No, in use na. No? But the medias, that, that sack should be the thin one, not the thick one. Now it cannot be the stockings, too thin. We just got more bow, sir. Oh, must okay, bow, bow. <laughs> so we just. Uh, socks that are thin, not thick. Socks that are thin, thin. not Mitis. thick. Mitis. Pero dili isan pariha sa katong stocking. Stocking. Hindi po ide. Maguba. Okay, okay. Okay. Now. <laughs> So what you do with the starch, you cook it. You cook the starch until they becomes very, very, very soft. You cook the starch until they are very, very, very soft. Then when they become, you can chop it into smaller size and cook it so that it will Soften faster. Okay. Now, do not throw away the water Ang that you cook. Di, di, di loto that you cook. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Now, let the uh, cook starts simmer down. They are not hot already. Then you put it in the sacks. You put it in the sacks. The, the starts. Starts. You put it in the sacks. Then the water is there. Is here. Oh, tingin kayo dito. Okay. The water from in the the sacks. Put it in the water with the starts. Then start mashing the starts. Okay. Mashing the starts so that it will come out from the sacks. Okay. So when the mash starts, comes out from the sacks, it is very, very, very tiny. Right? Okay, okay. Right. <clears throat> right? Why? Why should it be very, very, very tiny? Because oh, my microbes God. are very small. They, it, it will be hard for them to eat big size. Clear? So you smash it, prepare the food, of the microbes. Clear? Clear? Clear. Okay. After smashing all the starts, next, you put in the leaf molds and the salt together. You put in the leaf molds and the salt together and again, mash it in the water. Ah, ibutang ako dito sa Katong so, ah, katong lip molds, katong ah, okay. so. But if it's seawater, you just pour the seawater in the water. 
Okay? Okay. Then smash it again in the water. Okay? Okay, sir. Then after that, this sucks, you tie it in the the top of the sucks, you tie it in the wood that you put in. Okay? Then you cover this. Cover it. Leave it for one day. One day lang? One day. The next day, the next day, what you are going to see, that there will be bubbles coming up. Bubbles. <coughs> now, the bubbles, when this starts, is just few bubbles, then it will increase. Increase, increase, increase until the whole top of the water fill up with bubbles. Until the whole top of the water fill up with bubbles. That is the maximum. Okay? Now, this is the time to use it immediately. You cannot store it. Ah. So that is the downside. In iMoto, we can store it. This one you cannot store. So, it's free da yung? Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? The mixture is 1 is to 10. One part of this to 10 parts of water. Mm -hmm. Then you drench it. Drench it in the soil. What do you mean by drench? Anong ibig sabihin drench? Anong ianak bukbo? Basa unjud kayo. You have to let the soil be grounded with the moist with the water. Atong tamnan. The whole soil you drench it. The area where you want to plant your plants, you drench it. If there are fruit trees already, then the whole, whole orchard area, you drench the soil with this. Claro. Oh, together with it. Everything. Now, you drench it five times. Limang beses. So this is the difference between JEDAM and IMO2. IMO2 just teaches us to spray it on the soil. But JMS teaches us to drench it on the soil. Now, why five times? Very simple. To let you understand. Why five times? Limang beses. Now, the first drenching in the soil Eventually, the microbes will start taking care of the soil. Am I right? What are they? They are builders. So they will build up your soil. Na magiging buhaghag. Am I right? Yes, sir. So it will erase, the soil will erase, the top soil will erase. Now, the drenching is around two to three days. So after two to three days, drains again. So the second drenching, the microbes will go deeper and start working on the next level of the soil to make it rate again. The third drenching will go further. The fourth drenching will go further. The fifth drenching will go further. It means the whole soil becomes very great. <coughs> See? That's the goal. Why? Why 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 does that affect your plants? Very simple. Air can come in. Water can go deep to the soil, not stay on top. That's the purpose. See? So every two to three days, drench. Two to three days, drench. Do it five times. And that's it. Wow. 
Anay lang yung hato. Oh. After five years. Yes. So, immediately, you need to do any master, you need to do any spray da yun. Do, pabuhat ka na ang adlaw, spray yun din mo da yun. Hindi spray yun, drench yun. Drench yun. Buhos yun. Drench, buhos yun. Nakuhan ko itong, nakuhan ko itong, pagkuhan mo sa container. Buta na itong tubig, no? Oo, katong 200 liters ka, ne? Oo, lagi. So, kinanglan ito din mong iabot at itong naiimong gibuta nga. Lord and that wood that you put in. Because you are going to hang the sacks. Sa ato pa ibabag na ito. Sige, ihang man yung sacks. Mga one, mga wa, how many? No, 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 mga this far from the wood. Astansya. So that you can hang the sacks. Sa ato pa magbuho ka na gilid-gilid, sir. Kaya yung mga ana ang kahoy. Baby, may I say. Sorry. Putang ni mo anak sa kahoy, tumbaman na siya. Hindi, takot-takot gamay na ma... Ah, maipit siya. Lara ba? Yes. Kung sir, katong sila ka... Now, yung container na bilhin mo, mas gwapo yung ganun ang cup niya. Huwag yun yung 200 gram na bubutasan mo na pangit yung gram. O, kasi wala, hindi mo na masarado. You have to close, or the container has to be closed. Yes, that this the best one, the one that will close the container. Oh, it's not expensive. So what I did, I had to, I did the whole through. So it went, the stick went through, so I can close the container. Yeah, but the best is just you buy this type of where you can easily close it. Yeah, but then how are you gonna put the wood? Oh, through the hole. Yes. That's what I did. Pero pwede baldi, sir, di ba na yung baldi nga ka na may pagkataon? Pero di lang siya makakuan. Oh! At yung large container? Ah. Pero kung dako ang farm mo, you better buy the big size drum. Okay. Not the small size. Like those ones, those big ones. Ay, mahal mo na yung muna. Oh, eh, pero ROI naman, di ba? Balik lang mo yun. Oo. Because you can use that again and again, 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 again for how many years? Even 10, 20 years. Pero after five grand, sir, what na makibuaton? Wait. There is, there is. Utro na pugka. Okay. So that will be the IMO2 of Jedam. Okay. IMO2 of Jedam. IMO2. Oh, so it's not IMO1. Ah, no. It's IMO2. Oh, yes, yes. Because of the food. IMO2 of Jedam. Okay. Okay, now... So, so Jidam starts with IMO2, no IM1. Yes, yeah. straight IMO2. Yeah. Because they don't need to capture the microbes, yeah. because the microbes is in the leaf, leaf molds. Leaf molds. Yeah. Okay, mm. now, for FPJ, FFJ amino acid of natural farming, what is the Jidam way? Very simple. Like this, a drum. For example, this is the drum. For FPJ. So, we call it JLF. What is JLF? Jedam Liquid Fertilizer. JLF. Jedam Liquid Fertilizer. Now, the JLF of FPJ. The JLF of FPJ. How do you make JLF of FPJ? This is how you do it. What is FPJ? Fermented plant juice. Fermented plant juice. So the ingredients come from the leaves. Leaves of plants. Not only leaves of the trees can be leaves of the Grass. Grasses. Now we'll discuss the grasses later. <coughs> Beer? Yes. Okay. So you harvest them. Okay. It can be the fresh one. It can be fresh leaves. It can be dry leaves. Okay? Okay? Okay. So you gather them 
Fill this drum with the leaves, with the plants. Fill it up. Okay? Then put water in it. So the water will completely cover the plants. The water. So it will be above the plants. This is the plants, this is the water on top. Fill it up. Fill the drum with water. Okay? Mm. Then put leaf molds for, for a 200 liters drum. Leaf molds will be around uh, two kilo, uh, one kilo also. Uh, one kilo leaf molds. Leaf molds. Then salt will be one four kilo. One fourth. That's it. Then cover it. This one you have to cover it uh, a little bit tight. Then put it shaded outside in your farm. Semi shaded can be semi shaded. It should be in the soil. Put it in the soil. Like this. Okay. 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 Uh, leave it for 30 days. Leave it for 30 days. 30 days. Cheaper, right? Yeah. Compared to a PJ. Long. Molasses. Longer, but. Cheaper, but longer. Oh, but longer, yeah, longer, 30 days. Yeah. You have to wait for 30 days. Yeah. So after 30 days, you can store. Yeah, it's there already. That one, I'll show you. Come on, come on, guys. This one was done on my last seminar here <laughs> about uh, a month ago. So this is the result. The problem with this is the smell. Mm. Very bad smell. Mm. No, wala na. Too big. Hawakan mo, tapos. No kidding. Too big. Oh, see. That's the smell. Ikaw mo ginagorso. Jan, jan, jan. Bugas. Unya na maglinis. Mahirap ang tanggal. Dugay ma mawala sa kamot ni mo. Mamiya, sabon ka na lang. Murag bahog ta, ikabaw? Bahog yun. Bahog yun. O, pamoy. Pamoy mo sila. Kamot. Okay, grass magbaho. Sige na, pamoy. Awala na. Butoran eh. Pukuan na to. Now listen. But this one, the longer, the better. The longer, the better. Ah, the longer you store. Oh yeah, no, no, that one, that one. Oh. Leave it there. Leave it there. If you want to use it, then get the water and use it. I'll tell, tell you later on. No. <laughs> Still smelly. Still. Still smell. No. Still smell. Ah, you use gloves and. No, I just want to let her see how smell it is. Anyways, it will be gone later on. Wala na yung akin. Okay, now where am I? GMS. You will stay it. Okay. GL, GL, yeah. If you want to use it, yeah. if you want to use it, get the liquid. Now, how do you get the liquid? You cannot just get it because there will be a lot of... Microorganisms. No, a lot of solid. So when you mix it in, in spray, it will block your spray. So the key there, how to harvest it, you need a net. The mosquito net, uh, then, then, then put the mosquito net in the middle, the water will come in and it will not let the solid come in. Mm -hmm. So get the water in the mosquito net. Mm -hmm. yes, 
Okay? Again, the delusion, uh, the delusion of that is 1 is to 100. Oh, kunti lang, no? 1 lang. 1 is to 100. For the GMS, is 1 is to 10. For this one, is 1 is to 100. 1 lang, ana. 100 drums, ana. 1 liter. 1 liter, one liter then 100, one liter, 100 liter. liters. Na water. Okay. Now, if you want to use it, harness it, then use it. If you don't want to use it, just leave it there. The longer, the better. The better. Okay. Now, the longer you stay, let it stay there. The odor will just disappear. That one is very old, old, old already. You can smell that one. It's not smelly already. The small one. Later on, you go and take a look. Wala na, wala na smell. Now, listen, listen. So, after you harvest all the liquids and you want to make new ones, do not take out the solid. It's there. Don't, do not take it out. Leave it there. Because what I said, the longer, the better. The better. So you just pour in new Water. leaves, ah, new leaves. leaves. Ah. fill it up again, then fill it up with water again, then put the leaf molds again, put the salt again, and cover it again for another 30 days. Same body. So the longer, the better. The better. Clear? Now, so you just add. but but you have to really close it because if you do not close it tightly, it will evaporate. Amaura na yung mali kayan kay mo evaporate siya. Oh, kaya na naubos ubos yung tubig diyan. Kay ni evaporate. Kaya na evaporate. Kasi pinaay mamang gani ni Sud naka evaporate na. Clear? So Clear. the better is to seal it a little bit tight. So, so basically if you want to do another one, you just leave the whatever is in there, the old you ones, add the leaf mold, so just and uh, add the, the the new leaves. And yes, salt, add the leaf molds, add the salt, salt and cover yeah. it again for another 30 days. Okay. Press leaves. Oh, can I lagi mga dahon? Mga dahon. Mga dried leaves. Mga molds. Dried and fresh. Dried, fresh, whatever you want. My question is, have you tried both and see the difference? Uh, FPJ and... Uh, my students, they have been doing it already. And, and what's the difference? And, you know, they tell me this, just the JMS it's already a solution. Uh, Many of their problems is gone. Oh, James. Okay. Because he, he, what, what they do? Feeder, builder, soldier. Uh, that is what you need in the farm, right? Okay. So they, they always tell me just the JMS is almost so no make, problem already. So they're not using IMO? Uh, they, they tried the JMS already. Okay. They do the drenching type, which is being taught in JMS. Drenching, not spraying. Drenching is what? That one, uh, the JMS, uh, one is to ten to water. Just pour the water on the soil. Oh, you don't do it on the leaves? No, no, no. Everything is in the soil. Okay. You are building up the soil. Even the JLF? No, JLF can be... For the trees uh, or for the soil, for the soil okay. can be both. Okay, now I'm going to say it's easy. Yeah. Okay? Now, now that's for FPJ, JLF. Now, how about FP, uh, FFJ, JLF? Uh, so FFJ is fruits. Uh. So any kind of fruits. Yeah. Any kind. It can be even pepino, uh, cucumber, uh, kamatis, ang kamatis in this? Tomato. Tomato, all your fruits in the farm. 
okra, uh, mango, mango, lansones, rambutan, whatever fruits you have in the farm. Those reject. Those reject. Put it in the drum, fill it up, then fill the water up also, same as a PJJLF, then put the leaf molds again, put the salt again, and cover it again. The same. The same. 30 days. Okay, so the same ingredients, just the, you add the yes. fruits. The fruits. Oh. So again, the principle, the same. The longer, the better. The better. So, more than one kilo of one kilo? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Same. Lip molds, lip molds, salt, salt, salt one pour. Tangan lang siya, two days. Oh, yeah. Fruits lang. 30 days siya, upon siya? Yes. Minimum 30 days you can use it. Ah. So, instead of uh, fruits lang ang gamiton. In yes. So, F, F, J. Okay. F, J, L, J, L, F. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, what is amino acid of F, ah, J, L, L, F. Okay. Okay. In the farm, uh, many times that there are accidents, right? Especially in the road, in the road, when a car hit a, a, a dog, and the dog die, you get everything of the dog, yes. even okay. the intestine, everything, take it, put it in a, in a drum, yeah. do not cover it 100%, just put a small space, open up a small space, let the flies come sit, and they will lay eggs. Yes. Oh. And uh, eggs will hatch, there Ay, is maggots, <laughs> and the maggots have food to eat, Ay. protein food, so maggots will be very, very huge. Then before they turn into flies, you boil water, hot water, and pour it, so that the maggots will die. Here you have maggot soup. Yes, it can be the manure also. Yes, anything. I'm not talking about just the 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 dogs. It can be your 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 pigs, your chicken, your cows, or whatever it is. Yes, even sickly. Okay? Dead okay. bodies. Oh, if you want to kill your mother-in-law, go ahead. <laughs> just, just joking, just joking. <laughs> just joking, joking. <laughs> okay, so pour in the hot water so that maggots will die. When the maggots die and and uh, and then add the water, fill it up to the blimp, the water, then put again lip molds, put again salt, and cover it again. So this will be 60 days, not 30 days. This will be 60 days. After 60 days, then that will be your amino acid. I think I'll prefer the... the. <laughs> <laughs> no, even here, you can use the manure. Uh, okay. You can use the fish if you want to. Any, any, any dead uh, animals, any kind of animal can be. Now, again, uh, the longer, the better. Okay, so when you finish the liquid, uh, you might have new dead animals you can put in, let the maggots come in again, uh, let the flies come in again and lay the maggots. And when there are plenty of maggots, then pour in the hot water, kill the maggots, then, then put in fresh water to fill it up, then put the uh, 
deep molds, put the salt, cover it again, another 60 days. Mas effective siya, sir? Yes. The longer, the better. Dilisan po hindi ka itong makakita ka ka nang nga inapatay na nga mga ero nga gi pang oon na dilipod po hindi po hindi mo ibutang dito. Po hindi! Abono ito yun eh. He was telling, he was asking, is it okay if I saw a dead dog with all the maggots already and put it there? That's it. That's already it. Good enough. Yes. Itong mga baboy nga gipaanod ba nga musangit? Oo. Naman sa sarap. Yes. 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 Oh, bay, kanang kanang mga hero kasagaran. Ano sa mo na? Para sa problema ba yas ka piling ba di? Imo na lang ang kuha o kaya niyo. Sige, Joha, bantay. Bantay na yaman sa inyo tao kasi ito. Poultry farm, poultry farm. Their chicken died, and they they had to do a beam where they throw all the chicken. They can request it from them. Pangayuon. Yeah. Pero wala yung limit sa kadaghan. Wala. Ay, sa kabog man, no? Ay, gamay lang ang container mo kung isa kagubog mo. Mas, the more, the better because of the protein. Baka ginanay mo, kung ano, ipaihaw, pa-nagungan. Even, even those, those intestine, you can even do the intestine also. Ah, even frog. Yeah, any, any kind of... Animals, even insects, you can make this. Clean technology na lang niya. Hindi naman kang jajam. Hindi naman mo mo ada pa na ang i-appeal man na sa atong tahan. Magpili man mo. Adi lang po ang amino acid. Hindi, remember, the smell is just few days. And it will not spread the whole area because it's in the farm. It's a big space. You only open the small holes. Then, then and after you pour in the hot water, you fill it up with water and put lip moss and salt, you have to cover it. Like what, like that, you have to seal it off. Because it will evaporate. If not. At ito rin mo butang dito si mong umalayo sa imo, kaya rin ka kapani maho, samtang gilangaw, giood. Dito si katin yan yung butang. Na ikaw rin mo, kung ano do sa lim. Kung ano lang yung tignan. Kaya rin mo di mo. Ikaw wala ng amino acid. Sige, diliran mo sa FPG. FPG nga dyan ang mga FPG. MFG. Kaya pwede man siya sa tao. Kaya hindi mag hindi pwede. Ano naman na itanong sa tao? Na ay mag mo. Okay, okay, okay. Again. Again, the longer, the better. Okay? So that's the difference. Kaon ka ni mo ginamos mouse. Okay. I I did the the J J M S, but the application I wasn't sure. You have to drench it. I just oh I I just put it on big trees like coconut. Yeah, but the key is drenching five times. That's the main key. Five times. Five times. What do you mean five times? Five times. After drenching it, fill it wet the whole. Water, uh, soil surface. Uh -huh. uh, after two to three days, when it dries up again, you drench it again. Oh. After two to three days, you drench it again for five times. One, that is the key. That's once in. You cannot just do once. Okay. Uh, I was explaining to them a while ago. You're gone. I said when you drench first one, uh. the microbes will take care of the top soil. Uh. The second drench, they will take care of the next uh, uh, layer of the soil. Okay. The third drench, more deeper. Okay. Fourth, more deeper. Fifth, more deeper. Okay. Then the whole soil becomes very irate. So only once you do it? Once only? Five times you do it only once? Yes. Okay. Three days, three days. I only did once. <laughs> so you have to do it five times to see the very strong effect. Because we want the soil to be aerated and to increase the microbial activities. But before that, uh, you have to prepare the, the, I mean the, the plot. You you take out all the weeds. No no uh, no need. Uh. No need. Even the weeds are there. You just throw the mixture. When it rains, you don't even need to mix it. Uh. You just. The concentrate, you just, uh, uh, what do you call it? Cast it. Uh. 
the water you just the concentrate you just pour it uh -huh. because the the rain will just mix it up uh, okay oh. sir so getting amino acid with now yours you need organic matters uh, you you don't need what to drench because uh, because it's already sun. So what you need is organic matters. You have to increase your organic matters on your soil. To hold to hold the the nutrition because it will just wash out. Yes. To hold the nutrition to provide also for the microbes to stay, you have to do organic matters. Okay? Any question? Any question? So how do you do it? This is uh, how, how we were taught. You don't need even to do the amino acid if you want, don't want to. This is how you do it. Dry up the manure. Dry up the manure. How to do what? Uh, the, the, the amino acid. Oh, the amino acid. Yeah, okay. Dry up the manure. When the manure is dry, then you shred it so that it becomes pulverized form. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then you scatter the pulverized manure throughout your soil. Mm -hmm. Then you just drench the JMS. Mm. Then you have amino acid in your soil already. So like cow manure? Any kind of manure. Okay. Oh. Even human manure. Same procedure, oh. sir. So GLF has a FFG and FFG, same procedure. No, the cow manure, you just scattered it into the soil, then drenched the GMS five times. I scattered You succumbed in, sir? Yes! Any kind of manure. Any kind of manure. That's how you do it. So you are, to do that, you are introducing organic matter, right? Not oh. only organic matters, okay. but amino acid. Okay. Uh, another one is humic acid. Okay. Oh, mm. didn't any shake Ang microbes na bahala mag-decompose sa manure. So, yeah. so, so the manure has to be dry, yeah? Yes, so that uh, uh, it's easier to mix it with the soil. Yes, five times still. So every three days you put? Two to three days, depending on the fast drying up of your soil. If Kenya is too hot, then two days it will dry up already, then you have to drench again. Mm. So, mga already, sir, magamit niya po itong leaf molds kato mga water. Mm. Um, so, you have to pile up a lot of leaves. And if, uh, so if there are forests, get a lot of leaf molds, leaf molds. from the forest. One of the beautiful uh, <laughs> microbes that you can get is in the forest. Okay? Try to get forest microbes. Mas gwa po tong sa paras bitaw. O to patag ko an ani. Mga kahoy kahoy yan. Clear? Yes. So let's continue on our topic. <coughs> so what's important here is the organic matters. Which you need. Okay? Now, what is organic matters? No, your first goal is to increase it to 3. Then after you increase it to 3, your next goal is 5. The maximum you can go, if you are very good, you can go up to 10. But that's the most. You cannot go higher than 10. So, how many more na pag detect na may abot na kasa 3? Soil test. So, kinhangla na pag soil testing. No need, no need, listen, listen, you just follow these things that I'm teaching you, eventually, slowly, it will increase. 
it will increase. We we'll go to that. Now, what is organic matters? So we will ask, what are organic matters that is the most crucial point in the soil? So what is that? So let's go back to the first topic, yesterday lessons, first topic. In this cycle, where is the organic matter? In this cycle, where is the organic matters? Decomposition. During decomposition, where is the organic matters? Mention it. Pieces, urine, dead bodies. Yes. Pieces, urine, dead bodies, bodies comes from life form. Then leaves, woods, and overripe fruits comes from vegetation. So all these ways turn into organic matters of your soil. Now, what did our farmer do with the organic matters? They so throw it away. Sir. See? They will burn it. And they burn it farm. or they throw away. Yeah, yes. So how do you expect that your organic matters will increase in your farm if you burn it or throw it away? No way. So that's a wrong practice. Clear? So do not burn. It's good that we have already law that says we cannot burn agricultural waste except except carbonized rice oil. We can do. There's an exception in the law. So so acceptable ang farm tractor kay dili man gito matuan pa mabutan naman to siya sa no problem if you want to use farm tractor, but if you use microbes, it's better, right? Farm <laughs> tractor is just 12 inches. Microbes is? 7 meters. No, that's a word. See? More deeper. Who's better? Tractor microbes? The microbes. <laughs> now, now, listen. So, organic matters is crucial in the farm. You want to improve the soil? Do not burn. Do not throw away. After you harvest, throw it back. The rice, uh, the rice after harvesting, the rice straw, throw it back. The corn, if you have harvest the corn, after harvesting the corn, the corn stalk, throw it back to where you harvest it. Clear? Clear? Any kind, even trees, even like banana. When you harvest the fruits, you chop off the, 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 all the trunks, then you chop it into smaller size and throw it just around the banana. See? Remember when you increase the microbes in your farm, they will take care of those things. You, the, the, the conventional farm tells us, ah, don't, because you are going to increase the, the, the bad ones. Yes, that's true. That's true if your balance of the soil is like this. But if the balance of your soil is like this, oh, no problem. Clear? Clear. That's why the only thing that you need to do, first of all, before everything, drench microbes. Drench five times. Then you will have less problems. That's all. Yang unang gawin mo, yan ang priority that you do in the farm. So, Drench. I have a question. Maybe I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going too far ahead. But let's say I'm, I'm preparing a bed for tomato farming. Before I do bed that... Bed for the vegetable, right? Vegetable, yes. So uh, I need to prepare the bed, take out all the weeds, and then I drench, and then I put mulch. Yes. Okay. You can even put mulch and uh, drench. 
better put mulch than and drench. Then drench. Okay. When you said mulch, these are the plants, right? Dry Not leaves. the plastic. No, dry leaves. Yeah. 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 Not the plastic. No, no. Clear? Ah, there, you don't have plastic there. The plastic mulch. You know? No, no. Not allowed. Plastic mulch. 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 Now, if you want really to control which you don't need round up, you know what you need? Uh, <coughs> you want to know? Yes. Vinegar and seawater. Ang pagpatay sa sabot? Yes. On say ratio, sir? Uh, half, half. Mix them together. Then, buhos mo. Jesus, magkabok niya itong dagat, eh. Maura, maura man din, ha? Yeah. Ibuhos lang, sir. I-drench lang. I-spray? I-spray or drench? O, i-spray dahil, sir. I-spray rin. Pwede. Vinegar, so... Pero mas maganda drench. Diyan sa grass. Huwag sa tanim. Kasi mamatay ang tanim. Oh, okay. How many days are you? One is two. Mix. Vinegar and seawater. So how does it know which to kill the weeds only, not the other plants? Don't, 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 don't drench it near the plants. Ah, okay. Just far from the plants. But, but again, I won't kill the grass. I won't kill the grass because you need it. You need it for your JLF. You need it to where, where your insects live where they have their food. If you take away the grass, you take away their family, you take away their homes, you take away their food, where, do, where will they go? Where will they go? To your plants. <coughs> if you take away their home, their food, where will they go? To your plants. They are not used to your plants. They don't like your the, the food of your plants because of survival of the fetus. They will go to your plants and eat your plants. So, balik sa sa po sa pato pagpatay sa sagbot sir. Malang di ka. Vinegar and sea water sir. Mapatay yun yung aining grass sir. Ang mabalik na siya tubo. Ang mabalik na dugay na kayo. Pero mapatay yun siya. Because the seeds are there. Pero mapatay yun siya. But when you keep on killing them, that not letting them bear seeds. Then you are going to eradicate the seeds in the soil. Then if there is no seeds already of the grass, then there will be no grass. Ah. Oh. Wala na. Wala na ni siya. Dili na ginisya sa gulang tubig. Pure soka o tubig dagat lang. Ay. Vinegar and sea water halam ato kag dagat. Pwede magasen. Can pitch sea water. Pwede siya ro? Asen? Mahal na kayo. Sea water and green. Sea water can improve. Una una lang tubak dok, kena menanggut betau. So if I want to prepare my bed without without chilling, I can just put sea water and vinegar, and then I put mulch. It will work. You can kill the grass. It will work. Huh? And if I do that, I will not kill the microbes. Wala man mampay sa sa garden. Pakuno matay microbes? No. No. O kato lang lagi. Because microbes live on sea water, microbes live on vinegar. So instead of actually mowing or things like that, just work on the grass. You just and then put mulch on top. All right. You don't even need to take out the grass. What you do if you want to do vegetable, just do the bedding. Just together with the grass, just mix the soil with the grass, and because they become fertilizer in the future, then put up the bedding together with the grass. And then, it, and then you drench. And then put mulch. Yeah, mulch, then drench. Okay. Oh. Then microbes will eat of, of the grass that are in the beddings, and they have food, and they will multiply. Okay. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Let nature do it for you. And is it advisable 
the first time if you are preparing the bed to till? Yes. For the first time. And then yes. leave it, no till. Then no till, because the microbes will take care of your bedding okay. already. Okay? Okay. Okay, sir. Just remember the functions. Always remember their functions and use those knowledge as your tools to do farming. That's why I'm, I, I'm, I'm not only teaching you, oh, make this and drink that. I'm teaching you lessons so that you will know, so that when you know, you know how to do it. Knowledge is the key for you to understand how to do the farming. And it's pure common sense. It's pure common sense. Clear? Yes. Okay, we will have our lunch and after lunch we'll come back.